In the last demo, I showed how you can uh, how the IDE helps you to debug your code before you even run it. Um, while you're running it, you may want to uh, trace the execution, uh, put some messages in, maybe check some variables as you go. And a, a quick and uh, easy way to do that is to run uh, is to use QDebug, and this will output this function uh, allows you to output messages to the console while the application is running. So let's do a little example here. We can go. Um, uh, demo application UI constructor is running. And the streaming uh, notation here, which you know from C++, is quite handy. Uh, we can also mix our data types in there. So if there's a variable we wanted to trace, I'm just going to give a simplistic example here. Um, we'll create a variable and I'll output that down here. So there's i. So we're going to stream it out as well. Um, I can say i equals so that I know uh, what that number comes from. Uh, so now when we run this, um, I'm going to save the changes. So the console right now is showing the results from our build. And there's actually, um, I think it's like two different consoles that are happening here. Now it's switched. Because we're running, it's switched to show second project run. It doesn't say on, but run on the simulator. Uh, um, with that name. So um, so that's what we're seeing here. We see some output that uh, BlackBerry has given us from their default code or uh, from their code. And then here's that message. So here we have demo application UI, uh, application UI constructor is running and i equals, so that's the text we output, and the 99 got turned into a text for us from, from being an integer. So you can put all kinds of things into debug and, and it will sort them out. So that's how you can trace your code and look at uh, variables from from C++. Uh, you can do the same thing from, from QML, but there's a different function that we use for that. So for this demo, I'm going to create a button just so we can trigger the message. And on clicked, uh, we'll output a message when this is clicked. Let's give it some text so we know what it is. Um, output to console. There we go. Okay, so what we do for this one is there's a console object, and then we use the log method on that, and then we can uh, put some text in there. So here we can say uh, QML button was clicked. Okay, so let's try that out. Run that. It's going to save the changes, thankfully. Here we are syncing. And there we are running. So here we see that same message from our constructor. So we're still getting our C++ messages. And then within our Hello World app, I'm going to click on that. And there's the output there in the console. So that can be very handy um, when you're trying to find out what's going on and you don't want to run the full debugger. The full debugger does slow things down a little bit. So um, it's often handy to, uh, to do that and to monitor things as you go. That's all I wanted to show for now. In a later demo, we'll look at the interactive debugger.